My name is Alex Glowaski. I'm here with my company, 8-Bit Lit, but I'm also uh, showcasing my wearable product projects. So the main one that I wanted to bring out for this Maker Faire is the Transmission Hologram, which is uh, Instructables have kindly lent me a little robot model, which uh, I have made a transmission hologram of it. I embedded the laser into the hat so that you can still see it in the dark. Um, oh, that's awesome. So there are two, two kinds of holograms. You've got transmission holograms and reflection holograms. Okay. Uh, transmission ones require a laser to be seen. Okay. There's also a reflection hologram, which doesn't show up very well. Okay. Um, it's quite dim, but if you take it in the sunlight, it shows up better. Okay, let's that see requires, if you can see it. Yeah, you can see a little bit, but it doesn't show up. So. That's okay. It just requires a point source of light, so that all the light is coming from the same direction, which means that uh, you can reproduce a co coherent image. If you've got a diffuse source like fluorescent tubes or whatever, it's not going to work very well. What fascinates you about holograms? <laughs> the fact that they're static images, but they're also 3D, that they have parallax. The fact that, I think, to be honest, part of it is that it's an arcane art. You have to be in the dark in a place with very low vibrations, extremely quiet. You have to sit and basically try and be as still as possible and not breathe for like five or ten minutes while you're exposing, uh, depending on how you do it. Uh, and That's have, a challenge. That's really cool. It is. Um, and also I think that the results end up looking like sort of jewels, but with actual images in them. Oh, that's really cool. I think they're really well suited to jewelry, and I'm kind of surprised that people don't do more of it. Well, maybe you have a new line. <laughs> so, if I can uh, refine the process a bit. Okay. So, right now, how long does it take you to create one of those kind of things? Uh, it takes about half hour for setup, and then five or ten minutes to expose, but there's also a period of about three or five minutes to which, in which you have to let the air current settle in the room before you can expose to make sure that there's as little vibration as possible. Oh my god, that's amazing! Okay, so yes, you have some issues to resolve. Yeah! Your white room needs to be get, get created or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Now you uh, have another project that you brought here that's pretty fascinating, so why don't you show me what that is? Thank you. It's also magnificently impractical. Um, it's a wearable USB QWERTY keyboard. Mm -hmm. So if I have this hooked up to a computer via okay. this you know, USB plug, right. I could actually type with this by connecting the finger claws okay. to the rivets on my belt. As you can see, they're all wired in. Oh my gosh, let me come in and perk myself sure. on that. Oh, and they're totally connected cool. via this cable to the circuit board. This is actually just the circuit board out of a regular keyboard. Oh my gosh, that's cool. <laughs> Thank you. The trouble is that um, A, you have to wear it. Um, it's a big process. Okay. And B, you have to memorize the combinations between the claws and the rivets. Ah. I made it because I was sitting in bed and thinking that I'm going to get carpal tunnel if I keep typing the same way. So I was looking for something I could do that yeah. didn't involve squishing my wrists against a keyboard. Right. So this, this does encourage better posture. It makes you put your <laughs> shoulders back and uh, you know keep your arms neutral. Right. But it's horrifically impractical. Yeah, because you have to memorize the ASCII keyboard. Exactly. <laughs> That's awesome. So where would you go from here? Where, what's, what are yeah, oh. awesome things post Maker Fair, Maker Fair for you? I have big plans regarding um, more wearables, especially ones that can connect with your mobile device. There's a lot going on in personal tracking and stuff. What I'm interested in is more uh, using wearable jewelry and devices to control stuff around you so that you can maybe gesture and control something or uh, do any kind of mobile linkage. Anyway, that, that's a really interesting avenue to me. That's very cool. Now, do you have some place that people can see your stuff or oh, yeah. read about you? Yeah. Let me take this off for a sec. My blog is alexglow.com. Okay. Alex and the word glow. Yeah. My last name is Glow Askew. Okay. Woo! Alexglow.com. Awesome. And if you're interested, this is my GPG key. If you'd like to verify my identity. <laughs> uh, well, that's always very important to us oh, yeah. here in our future. <laughs> you gotta get the real deal. It's important. That's awesome. Thank Thanks you so, so much. much.